Hey what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be my unboxing and setup of the brand new Series 7 Apple Watch. This one of course is the Nike edition in case you couldn't tell. I've got the Nike hat on, the Nike shirt, the shoes behind me. I'm a big big Nike fan and I always buy the Nike edition every single year. And with the Nike watch you get some exclusive Nike faces which you won't get on the regular watch. So you're essentially paying the exact same amount but getting more stuff with the Nike one. Now this year the Nike edition comes in midnight and Starlight. So if you're planning on buying a Series 7 Apple Watch and you're picking one of those two colors, I definitely recommend to get the Nike one. But anyways, I just got back from the Apple store here, so I picked myself up the uh, 45 millimeter Midnight Apple Watch. And then I also got a couple of different bands. So I got the Product Red Band and then the brand new Nike Band. And like I said, I'm a big Nike fan, so this watch band definitely stood out to me. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and unbox it. Alright, so here we go, the Nike Edition Apple Watch watch series 7 i'm super excited to unbox this one guys so we've got the apple watch logo there nike swoosh right beside it all black box and if you get the regular edition of the watch it comes in a white box so just another little differentiator between the nike and the standard edition anyways super simple unboxing experience just a couple of little pull tabs here open it up and then it just all kind of pops open you've got some apple watch art inside of the box here which is actually pretty cool then right here we've got the midnight colorway you can kind of see it's got a little tint of a blue on there which i'm really excited to see what that looks like when we actually take it out of this box so just another pull tab right here and another one over here come on there we go all right moment of truth how blue is the midnight if i can open it all right here we go Designed for athletes by Apple and Nike. I wouldn't classify myself as an athlete anymore because of all of my ACL injuries in the past. But hey, whatever. Here's the watch. Let's go ahead and take it out of the packaging here. Come on. There we go. Okay, there it is. So yeah, you can definitely see there's a little tiny hint of blue. It's super, super subtle though. Like I thought it was going to be a lot more blue than that. It almost looks like a dark navy mixed with like a space gray. I don't know if that really makes sense, but there's definitely a hint of blue in there. It is super hard to see that midnight color. You have to be at a really good angle with really good lighting. It really just looks like a very, 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 very dark navy blue, but only at specific angles like I was just mentioning. I think it's a really nice color though like it's definitely a nice change and there's the back with all of the sensors and with the nike watch there's a little bit of nike branding on the underside as well and the watch face itself does look a little bit bigger i know apple is stating that it's a 20 percent larger screen than the series 6 and it's not even on and i can tell already that the display is a little bit bigger but anyways let's see what else is inside of the box so we've just got some paperwork right here so apple watch nike some instructions on how to turn it on set it up up and put the band on and then inside we get our one meter charger so this one is USB-C so it's going to enable fast charging which Apple is stating that the brand new series 7 can charge up to 33% faster and the quality of the charger itself is a bit better this year too I believe this is aluminum on the underside of the actual watch attachment which normally it's just white plastic so if you do have a powerful adapter you'll be able to utilize that faster charging and another thing that Apple is stating is that eight minutes of charging can give you eight hours of sleep tracking which is actually really really good like I'm someone who wants to start wearing it while I sleep but an issue that I was having was that the battery was so low that I wasn't able to wear it while I sleep but this new fast charging here will allow me to just attach my watch to the charger for eight minutes and then I'll be able to track all of my sleep throughout the night so that's it for the charger now on to the band that I chose with the watch so I just went with the standard Nike sport band in the space black colorway now they are getting very crazy with the name now we've got midnight starlight space black but anyways let's go ahead and open up the pull tab here all right let's take it out so you got more Apple Watch Nike branding here. Open it up. Okay, so that's a little bit different than before. Like before there was just a standard black and then last year the obsidian was definitely a lot more gray. It was almost like a light gray. This is a... I don't even know what you would classify this as. Like it kind of looks like space gray. Almost like a charcoal color with like a lighter tint. It is super hard to describe these colors. No wonder why they're calling it like space black, starlight, midnight. It's an interesting color for sure and I think it's going to look pretty good with the midnight watch so that's the band that i chose with the watch face itself now you do get two different sizes so if you're someone that has a smaller or larger wrist you should be fine with what's inside of the box and 
other than that, that's pretty much everything that's inside of the regular box here. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So I'll just grab the watch here and turn it on. We'll get the Apple logo in three, two, one, and thank you. Okay, so to set it up, all I've got to do is really just click the start pairing button and then set up for myself. And then I'm just going to scan this blue blob that's moving around on the watch here. And there we go. Your Apple Watch is paired, easy as that. Now you can set it up as a new watch, but I do have a backup from my Series 6, which I'll click, which is the one in the middle right here. So continue. Okay, so we've got terms and conditions, which I will not be reading, so we'll click agree here. So right here we've got shared settings, which basically means that the Apple Watch is going to share all of the settings with my iPhone. So things like location services, find my iPhone, Siri, and analytics and improvements. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay there. Now you can make a passcode now personally I will be adding one for my own watch just in case you never know when you might need that passcode if somebody steals it you don't want them to be able to just go right into all of your stuff so I just made my passcode four digits you can make it six digits if you want to make it a little bit harder so right here keep your Apple watch up to date which is basically automatic updates which I definitely want so I'll hit continue Nike Run Club app, now this is an exclusive app for the watch, but you can download it if you didn't get the Nike watch. But through the setup, when you buy the Nike edition, it gives you the option to download it, which I will, so I'll go ahead and click continue. Okay, now you can set up Apple Pay, which I'm not going to do because it takes a couple minutes. So we'll go ahead and click set up later in the Apple Watch app. Now we've got emergency SOS here. So you can press on the side button to call emergency services. And if you do so, it's going to send an emergency message to your emergency contacts. And the Apple Watch also has fall detection built in as well. So if you do have a hard fall, then the Apple Watch will call emergency services to make sure that you're all right, which is actually a really cool feature, especially for the older population. Now the next part is the always on display. Now it's pretty self-explanatory it's a display that's always on but something cool is if you don't want to have the always on display on all the time then you can turn that off later in the settings but I do want it on here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue now you do get an option of how you want to see your apps on the watch here so the grid view is basically just bunching them all together and you can scroll around and pick whichever one you want to open or you can do a list view where you just scroll up and down and it's a little bit more organized personally I do like grid view though because I don't try to put a ton of apps on to my Apple Watch so it's pretty easy to find plus I think it looks a little bit better so we'll go ahead and click continue and now it's just going to sync which normally takes I would say maybe 5 to 15 minutes depending on how much information is being shared between the phone and the watch so while that's syncing up let's go ahead and put the watch band on here so the smaller end normally goes on the top so let's go ahead slide that on and there we go I heard the click now I'll grab the bottom one. Now I'm using the larger size. I would say my wrist size is probably like a medium. Um, so medium large is going to fit just fine. So here's the watch with the space black Nike band. I think it looks pretty good. And I think it goes pretty well with the midnight leather case that I have with the 13 Pro Max. It's definitely not a perfect match, but it's kind of similar. All right, there we go. I think it was roughly about five minutes for the whole setup. And I did have a backup as well. But anyways, it says update complete. We'll go ahead and click OK and there we go we've got the backup face from my Series 6. I really like this exclusive Nike watch face that I was using all of the time with the Series 6. I customized it so that I would have heart rate on the top right, I would have the rings on the bottom right, the battery percentage of the watch on the bottom left, and then the calendar on the top left and you can kind of see how the always on display looks a little bit brighter than previous models. Apple is saying that the Series 7 has a 70% brighter display when in doors and your wrist is down with the always on display and I am kind of noticing that the always on display is a tiny bit brighter I wouldn't say it's anything you know really really crazy and super significant but it is slightly slightly brighter and back to the watch faces I just quickly wanted to show you guys some of the Nike faces that are exclusive to the Nike edition watch so if you open up the watch app here it's going to show you all of the different faces in the face gallery so you can see a ton of Nike ones here so we've got Nike compact Nike Nike Hybrid, Nike Analog, Nike Digital, a whole bunch of different Nike ones and you can customize them too with colors and all the different little icons there you can customize those as well and then if you keep scrolling you get all of your standard Apple Watch faces here so like your chronographs, your color, um, 
Fire and Water, GMT, Gradient, all of the good stuff. One of my personal favorites that isn't a Nike one is the Infograph one because I use it primarily for the gym and having all of these icons on the face is definitely a good thing. There is just a ton of faces to choose from but personally I just really like the Nike ones because like I said I'm a big Nike fan and I use the watch primarily at the gym so it gives it a nice sporty look. Now after wearing it for a little bit now I am noticing that the screen does feel a little little bit bigger. Since the bezels were slimmed down and the design is more rounded, the image on the display almost like pours over to the sides, which gives the display an effect of looking larger, which is actually a pretty good thing because in my opinion this watch feels pretty much identical to the Series 5 and 6 with the 44mm. Even though this one's a 45 and it's like technically bigger, I can hardly tell. Like I thought I was going to be able to just look at it and be like, yep, this one is definitely bigger, but it's honestly like the exact same, but this one with these slim bezels makes the image look a little bit bigger without making the actual watch itself feel bigger which I don't really know if that makes sense. The display is bigger but the watch itself doesn't feel bigger. And another cool thing that comes from having this larger display is having a functioning keyboard and it surprisingly works really well. I thought it was going to feel really like smushed together and all that but it's actually pretty comfortable even though I'm not someone that really likes to type out my messages like with a watch it's just convenient to just say what you want to say, voice to text, send it, and that's it. I don't really see myself really using the keyboard that often, but whenever I do, it's nice to know that it's not going to be a hassle to do so. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Apple Watch Series 7 unboxing and setup. But before we end the video, I just want to talk about some of the changes that came with this year's model compared to the Series 6, because a lot of people are looking at this like it's pretty much the exact same thing as the Series 6, which I can totally see where you're coming from, because to be completely honest, the upgrade with the Series 7 this year isn't really that significant compared to the Series 6. It is almost identical. Like, yeah, we've got faster charging. Yeah, we've got a larger display. We've got a brighter display. And a watch that's a little bit more durable as well because this year's model has crack-resistant front glass, IP6X dust resistance, and WR50 water resistance. But at the same time, this really isn't that much better than the Series 6. So I know a lot of people are wondering, you know, if I have the Series 6, should I upgrade to the Series Series 7. And in my opinion, probably not because it's really not that big of an upgrade and for you to just spend the extra money for the features that you're going to be getting with the Series 7 isn't worth it in my opinion. Like the only reason that I do it is because I have a tech channel where I have to buy the new products every year to make videos on them. But if I was the average person and I had a Series 6 right now, no way I would be buying this Series 7. But I am hoping that the Series 8 has some really crazy upgrades and that it's going to be a watch where people look at it and they're like, yeah, yeah, I need this one. Versus the last maybe two or three years, everybody's looking at the Apple Watches right now like, oh, it's pretty much the same as the last year, except with some minor improvements, and I'm really hoping that the Series 8 is just leaps and bounds better than the 7, but I guess we'll just have to wait until next year to see if that happens, and if we're going to get that squared off design that was heavily rumored for the Series 7. Unfortunately, we didn't get it. I guess it was maybe due to some, like, manufacturing problems. Who really knows? It's a bit of a mystery, but I really do hope that we do get those next year. Anyways, this is it for my unboxing, first impressions, and setup of the Apple Watch Series 7. I'll be doing my full review once I've used the watch for about a week's time, so I'm planning on next weekend posting my review of the watch, so if you guys want to see that, make sure you subscribe. Also, down in the comments, do you prefer Midnight, or do you just want the basic Space Gray? Myself, I'm a big Space Gray guy, but the Midnight is kind of growing on me. It's nice to have a tint of another color, but at the same time, you know, I just want that Space Space Gray. That boring, basic, really cool Space Gray. That's it for the video, guys. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day, and I will see you guys in the next video.